Spectacular nature still creating havoc for businesses on Dobbins Landing and at Presque Isle State Park. Some businesses are now implementing safety features to eliminate high water damage. The story is new at 10 o'clock. Star Bodie joining us in the studio with much more. Star. Hi, Sean. Businesses like the Sheraton Bayfront Hotel and Rum Runners both suffered from high water damage, but now they're making sure they're ready for high water levels when they could arise again. Many residents are well aware of Erie's roller coaster of weather patterns. High winds swept across the Bayfront and Presque Isle State Park, causing heavy damage in April. This time around, Beach 7 is taking a hit as waves continue to erode the bike path. Lack of lake ice this year and uh, record high water levels have really taken a toll on all of our beaches. And in that section in particular, it's got into uh, the park infrastructure. Green says the park looks to reevaluate the trail section once Beach 6 is rehabilitated. Across the bay, Daniel Poro, general manager of the Sheraton Bayfront Hotel, tells us he's never seen water levels this high. We had two major power outages last year because of the water level. It would reach a certain amount where it would zap out one of the switches located at the east side of the pier. The Sheraton Bayfront resolved the problem by raising the electrical switch by three feet to eliminate safety hazards. On the other side of Dobbins Landing, Rum Runners installed a new dry storage facility to keep products safely stored. Building it up and putting in these temporary sheds, we've raised that up almost three feet. So it'll definitely be able to save product, keep it out of the water, uh, should not interfere with anything at that point in time, the high water. Sedney tells us that once the Erie Port Authority implements the surface walls across the bayfront, that that should help ease high water levels near the restaurants. Sean? Star Bodie reporting tonight.